Greetings and welcome to the first political podcast episode. Um, I just want to start out by saying hello to all of my fellow anarcho-communists. Are you guys ready for the bread price setting meeting tonight? Uh, we meet at Trader Joe's after, you know, what happened last month at Whole Foods. I can't believe that Karen said pumpernickel was worth more than gluten-free potato bread. What a fucking idiot. I can't believe we just had to change locations just to avoid her. Because, you know, she doesn't like the Trader Joe's generic brands. Can you believe that? We had to remove her from the cul-de-sac group chat a long time ago. I can't believe you didn't see this coming. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, you, you think you know a person, and then they tell you that, that pumpernickel is worth that much money. Look, Karen is a subgender. You're born a Karen sometimes. You can never <laughs> escape it. Your whole life, you are that Karen. Karen is a state of mind, and if you think that if that kind of bread is worth any more than one nickel per pump... It's, it's unforgivable. It's excommunicable. You just forced me to think of pumping bread. Like, <laughs> like inflating it? No, no. Like in the same way that you have, like, you know how sometimes there are shampoos that when they come in a larger bottle, they have like a pump instead of like a cap. Yeah. I'm just thinking of that, but it produces bread and I'm very disturbed. <laughs> I would rather think about the inflation porn. That I was thinking of when I was talking about inflating bread. I don't know why, but you, that coming out of your mouth really threw me off. <laughs> I think I need to go sit down. Just because we're talking about inflating the prices of bread, dummy. I, I don't think my brain is right to be <laughs> talking about bread prices right now. It's a little bit too complicated. Oh, God. And I'm very afraid that Karen's going to pull in the driveway. Anyways. I'm here to ask you once again for you to listen to my podcast. And no, I'm no longer asking. <laughs> so today, like I said, this is the political episode. We will be talking about a the plethora of memes that I have collected this election cycle. Uh, to make this video as dated as humanly possible, we were recording this at 7 p.m. on uh, February 21st of 2020. Oh, you're just that gonna way, go there, okay. No, that's because if I say something that becomes like completely egregious by tomorrow, everybody knows, right? I don't have to re-record this. Okay, all right. So like, as if, you know, in the instance that Bernie eats the new baby peanut from- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pertaining to our last the, episode. The new, the new baby, the new baby Mr. Peanut. Yeah. Then- um, It's baby nut. I don't like that. Is it actually? Yeah, it's Jeffrey Epstein's favorite. Okay, then I don't care. <laughs> we'll talk more about Jeffrey Epstein it's later. Not, it's not called Baby Nut. Right? It is Baby Nut. I'm... And the only Baby Nuts that I'm used don't to... Don't say... <laughs> Props to her, but we're done with this conversation. You know what? You, like, I feel like I made that way better than the, the pedophile joke you thought I was going to make. You no, know, you're right. I actually didn't assume that. I just thought that you were going to, like, make me visualize. I don't, I don't know. What? So. No, 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 no. I think you made me visual. I know we don't have video on this, but holy shit, the size of my, like, my eyes burst wide open when Jess was about to say that. Oh my god. I, I think words are very powerful. Yeah, and I think you need to stop with, with the baby nuts. With that segue, <laughs> I'd like to talk about politics. Oh, man. I actually prefer a conversation about politics to this one. Actually, we have one segment before we, we get to the politics talk. Like, the, the more in-depth stuff. That's gonna make people somehow even more uncomfortable. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, so we're, we're starting out this, uh, this new thing that we, that we want to try. Where instead of giving fun facts, we give unfun facts. So this is gonna set the mood for the rest of the episode and that everyone should be extremely depressed because we're all fucked. So... Whenever we talk about the depressing political stuff, we're going to talk about the depressing, unfun facts of the world. So Jess, what, do you have an unfun fact for us? Uh, I had a list, but the first unfun fact is that I picked up my phone to check the list, and the back of my phone was wet. I will not tell you why. That's not a real fun fact. It's not a fun fact. <laughs> I mean, sure. It's an unfun fact. <laughs> sure. So what, what do you have this? in store? So my first fun fact that I had written down was... Um, a rat's life isn't much longer than three years, so uh, good old Pete Bourget is uh, run, running out of time. Damn it, I was going to make that joke. As soon as you said rat, I was like, how can I make this about Pete and bring it back to the politics thing? You should have just responded with, oh shit. 
Damn it. <laughs> I, I expected you oh, to. Oh, shit. <laughs> You've missed. Wow. If you guys haven't seen my latest Mambo video, I think it was Mambo number copper four. There are a lot of uh, rap fr- references in that video. Granted, it's a little old and it's about time for a Mambo number five, but, you know. Damn, you should have just uh, slapped uh, Mayor, Mayor Pete right on your thumbnail there if it's all about rats. Jesus Christ. We might do that for the next one. That'd be good. I can't have Mambo number five. You know, the long-awaited title. You might get copyright strike for that. I hope I do. I, You're I really, definitely going to get copyright I really that, fucking actually. hope I do so that I don't have to ever create content on this goddamn hell site ever again. Um, and I don't, care if you're, I don't care if you're listening to this on YouTube. I don't care if you're listening to this on Spotify. This, that is, or Twitter. This is the hell site that I'm referring to. The, whichever one you're using is the hell site that I wish to be banned from. Yeah, it's kind of like, social media is kind of like... No, um, Spotify is well. I want to get banned from Spotify. I don't want to listen social- to the, I don't want to listen to the Tame Impala, the new Tame Impala album, okay? It was good, right? But I'm not going to do it again. You're very bold to assume that Spotify would ban you from its platform, not as a content creator, but as a content consumer. <laughs> If you listen to too much retro funk vaporwave, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> we're, we're cutting you off. Macintosh. You only get so many minutes a month. <laughs> Macintosh Plus is canceled, dude. It's gone. Oh god. But <clears throat> damn, I had a I had a segue on the earlier part of that, and I forgot what it was. Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to. My three years are up. You know. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> Cold open. Go into the next one. Okay, that's fine. Um, my following on fun fact was that um, a concerning amount of people in the U.S believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows okay so then my i i think it was i I know the poll that you're talking about right it was like seven percent of u.s adults believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows which is insane that's ridiculous the other thing is and this is a this is like not a fact this is just a follow-up question i am positive right that like it has to be the number has to be higher for adults that think that cows just lactate all the time i recently texted a friend about that and and kind of went off on you know my my vegan rant but the point of it ended up being like they're mammals and karen needs to understand like there's no magical mammal that just lactates all the time for the hell of it that's really stupid yeah i um it's not how genetics work i actually had to explain this to my aunt and my, my grandmother the other day when they were in town and I saw them and they like literally my grandmother was so mad and did not believe me that after I, I Google fact checked her, she got up and left the conversation. She went to the other side of the room. Wild, wild that we, we live in a world where I can tell you a fact that's known about mammals and, and you won't believe <laughs> and you me just until get, I Google search it. <laughs> you just get so upset that you get up and leave. Anyway. It's who the fuck thinks animals do, like do you think that in some weird way the dairy industry is just like genetically bred cows to lactate all the time is that well, like no. do you think that that's what people think or I do you think, think that, that they just no, 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 they just no. always See, what I, what I was they're actually, just always out there just oozing yeah <laughs> don't use that word <laughs> <laughs> what i was actually grown up knowing or grown up taught i was taught at, that's a horrible way to phrase it what i was taught growing up was that cows do lactate all the time like there are dairy cows which i guess would be a product of genetic you know manipulation yeah. And that if those cows are not milked, they are in pain all of the time, right? Like they, like it's, it's a. Well, once they are lactate, like in the lactating process, like yes, but that's because it's supposed to be consumed by their child. Speaking of, by the way, rats not living much longer than three years, cows, which should have a lifespan of, I think in like the teens to 20 years, uh, dairy cows don't live longer than four years. I actually think cows might supposed to be. It's it's I know they don't live past five. Like, dairy cows don't live past five. Yeah, dairy cows don't um, live past five. But I think old. regular pasture cows, like, um... I think it's, a, like, high teens, right? I actually think it's close to 30, right? You think it's, it's close to, Is it in the 20s? Um, no, it's 18 to 22. I just looked it 18 up. to 22. Okay. okay, I thought it was similar to horses, because horses can live to be in, like, you know, young to mid-20s. Yeah. Like, I've, I, when I was, you know, with working with my family up in their uh, horse farm that they have, like, we, I mean, we had horses that were that old. It wasn't like, you know, we'd, we'd buy them at, like, 30. Yeah, when was right? the last but, time you saw an old cow? Yeah, no, you're totally right. But, like, I remember we had Pirate, who was, it was that was the name of the horse. Um, He was 29 years Yark. old. <laughs> he was 29. That's wild. That's, That's insane. Th- Wait, how, how long ago did you have Pirate? Pirate passed away in 2011. Holy shit. That's an old horse. He's He was a very old horse. That's... I'm not going to live that long. 
<laughs> okay. I, I, take I, it, I, taking bets. Place your bets in the comments. I can um. Uh, I can move into a, another uh, unfun fact, which was um. Which is now, you know, most people, especially, you know, if, if you consider getting a tattoo, you, uh... No, a, a no, good... no, 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 <laughs> Save. Is it, the, is it the one that you're thinking it's of? It's this one. Okay. I actually have a bit written down on my notes over here. Okay. Obviously, we're well prepared. I think yeah. we're very, like, we're very professional. <laughs> I have podcast. a bit on my notes. Podcasters? Is that a... Podcasters? What are they called? People that create podcasts. What are they called? Are they podcasters? Podgicians. Shut up. <laughs> Can I put that on my resume? <laughs> Podgician, uh, how many episodes do you have? Like, how, how many seasons do you have? Uh, we have four episodes. This is the fourth. Um, first of all, and you, you weren't cannot... even you weren't even in the first one. <laughs> Shut up! You cannot categorize. You cannot categorize amount of work put into a podcast because some podcasts are like 15 minutes long and some podcasts are like four hours long. Yeah, ju- that's a really good point, Jess. How long? How long does it take you to edit these episodes? Um, you send oh, wait, me the mods. Wait, wait a minute, that's right. I edit them. No, no, no. You I send me the no, mods. I do. That. I spit in your beer bottle. <laughs> I load them on my computer and I throw one monitor out the window. That's, turn, that's how these get edited. I turn my monitor sideways. <laughs> and, and we just let what happens happen. Yeah. What you're getting, what you're getting, is a straw poll of, of content. <laughs> It's a complete clusterfuck. You're actually getting every single word we say is not in order. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> I'm just that good at snipping out prosody and matching wow. each word to each, you know, intonation. Can you imagine how we would actually have to talk in order to create, like, a... In order to create a line of dialogue that would be... E- that would easily flow into itself when cut to create words? I mean, there are a bunch of advancements in, like, the text-to-speech... You say that. AIs and stuff like that. But those old videos of like where they cut Obama's voice while speaking in speeches oh, to like create they... a ton of dialogue, I have never been able to understand yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of YouTube. I have Oop. never heard it. It's, it is the worst thing ever and it yeah. never makes sense to me. I cannot actually form the words in my mind. Yeah, YouTube poop videos are uh, <laughs> a thing of the past and I'm glad they are. When, what, what was the golden era of YouTube poop, do you think? Like what year span? I mean, it has its peaks, right? Um, there were a lot of Zelda CDI YouTube poops that I watched. No, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna. Get I, into I that. just remember, like they, they actually, got widespread. We're actually gonna bring it back to the, the politics doggos. one. <laughs> we're gonna bring it back to the uh, <laughs> politics talk, and I'm gonna say that actually, the probably the best YouTube poops that I've watched in recent memory have been the uh, Prager, Prager, yeah, the Prager U ones. Are they still making YouTube poops? Is that some people some people do it ironically. <laughs> so there's 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 your unfun fact for the day. <laughs> <laughs> there's like Prager U YouTube poops. I'll probably link some in the description because we're talking about it. They are really funny because you know that's like alt right, like a bunch of just bullshit. Wait, and then they just, I, just change the messages entirely. I'm sorry, I thought Prager U was like an all gas no breaks, like I, like completely ironic. Like, it, it was meant to be, like, a satire. Are you telling me that's, like, actual, that's real? It's actually what, yeah, Dennis Prager is putting out. He's had, How like... How much money is in that? No, he's had, like, Charlie Kirk, Ben Shapiro, all, like, the big, you know, fucking idiots. I'm, on, I'm uh, convinced that Ben Shapiro's not a real human being. Continue. <laughs> I am actually going to read out a tweet from, uh... I think Liv. if you took a hairdryer to Ben Shapiro, he would melt. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> that's, I'm going to read a tweet belief. from Liv that I, that I uh, saw earlier. It says, let's say, theoretically, that I back it up. Would you say that it's fat enough? Now, hypothetically, if I were to throw it back, would it be fast enough? Furthermore, let's imagine that if I speed it up, would you have the capacity to handle that? And I'm going to post a picture of uh, the, you know, the picture that was included on this. For context, I was watching Aeon scroll down with that photo there, and it started with Eyeline. It started, it started with hairline, and then the eyebrows began to appear, and then the eyes. And I have to say that it made the content that much more powerful. Yeah, like as I scrolled down the screen, <laughs> I might, I might do that. I'm not gonna do that. That's way too much work. Okay, well, that's a lot of work. Don't do so, that. So um, you don't get paid that much, and I don't get paid. I that don't much. get paid anything for this. <laughs> I do it because one of the people that watches this decided that we needed to do another episode, and I was like, hmm. Well, Did I they ask for a politics episode? Because I feel like you might be... Yes. Just, really? Yes. All right. 
I thought that we were going to have a discussion you... about Pokemon and clothes. No, no, no. <laughs> that oh god, who somebody commented on the last one. Um, I'm always ready. Just hit. Just we could do a phone call episode where you just get me on the phone and I'm ready to talk about this topic. <laughs> we uh we did a yeah there was who was the person last time? I gotta look it up. It was getting edited out. I gotta find it. I could go on into my next fun, fun unfunny fact if you want me to. Not yet. All right, cool. If you're editing this out, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> Disgusting. Thank you. I oh my god, say... I just saw Natalie's response. <laughs> I've been brushing my tongue slash using a tongue scraper since I learned to brush my teeth. How do people not do this? There we go. I'm glad you motherfuckers started brushing your teeth or reminded to keep brushing your tongue after that last episode. I'm no longer asking you to brush your tongue. <laughs> I'm no longer asking. Um... It was Ruby Sapphire who said that we should talk about Pokemon feet, I mean clothes, I mean items. You know, to, to talk, to go off of that point, right? Speaking about, like, feet. Um, because that's just something we talk about on this podcast, apparently. Feet, feet picks in particular, right? Because you know I was going to go there. Feet picks in particular are a lot like social security numbers. How did you make that connection? <laughs> because you should send them to me. How long did it take you to come up with that one? Don't send them to anybody else, right? You don't want to give that kind of information out. Send them to me. I will filter out all of the nonsense for you. And the last four digits of your social is just a picture of yeah, your Yeah, you pinky. actually only need to give me the last four of your social. That's part of the filtering process. Wait, you don't wait, need wait, those first wait, numbers. Those which, are ridiculous. Which part then? Okay, I believe it's the pinky. Do you think it's the big toe, the last four digits? Because it's the most like commonly thrown around number, right? So is it the big toe or is it the pinky? What? In terms of feet pics. If you're relating social security numbers and feet pics, that's, I what's the last four digits of your social? Oh god, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> it's zero four two zero. Oh god, <laughs> it's, it's six nine six nine. Um, uh, what are Even. some other four digit combinations? <laughs> Eight six seven five three zero nine. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. That's that's her full social security number, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I um I thought that you were gonna go off on a rant about Pokemon and feet. And, no. and I'm, that's no. saved entirely for a different conversation, which I must be present because I will sue you if I'm not present for that conversation. You you and Ruby Sapphire. Both. I will contact my legal team. Nope. <laughs> we will have talks. Yes, I am your legal team. <laughs> okay. Um, I have another unfun fact. You have another unfun I fact. I have so many unfun facts because, you know... Give me, give me an unfun fact. Uh, the next unfun fact no, is that... No, uh, give me that one. Is that um, hedgehogs can uh, contract a syndrome called wobbly hedgehog. Aww. <laughs> and while that sounds really cute, it's another word for hedgehog MS. Like multiple sclerosis? Yeah. Huh. Gotta go fast, am I right? You know, I was going to say that Sonic movie is uh, <laughs> depressing now. I wish that they used the Sonic movie to increase awareness of Wobbly Hedgehog. Sonic gets... That's the next movie. It's gonna be <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles and MS. I'm telling you, if if The Rock is cast in the next Sonic the Hedgehog movie, it cannot be like, like a Tooth Fairy scenario. It has to be The Rock as Knuckles. Yeah, like... He you heard to... it here, folks. He has to have he has rock to hard. be knuckles. He has to have rock hard fist nipples. Yes. What? <laughs> have you not seen Hedgehog the Sonic? You know where he goes. I can break rocks with my rock hard fist nipples. Here's, here's the thing. I definitely have seen Hedgehog the Sonic. Yeah. Multiple times. I don't remember any aspect of it oh, because right. I believe that my brain has blocked it out. It was a fever dream. It was actually just a, a, just an experience that we all had together. Yes. They, the government in, you know released ketamine into the air and we all just had a crazy fever dream. That's fine. I'm used to that. Ready for the ASMR part of the episode? Is it a ketamine ASMR part of the episode? No, no. It's, I'm not going to get that much closer to the microphone either, but I, I just love the part in Hedgehog the Sonic, and I have to mention it every single, t every mm -hmm. single time I mention that like comic strip, mm -hmm. is um, when they finally did the voice acting for it, and Eggman goes, <laughs> I took all your emeralds with the help of my associate, Batface the Rogue. <laughs> and she yeah. goes, all the world's gems are mine. <laughs> I'm going to post the pictures to that. ask you to never do that voice again. <laughs> That's 
my rec- my one. So that was that was my impersonation for the because someone's got to do it right. So that was my impersonation for this I, for this episode. It's all coming back to me now. My brain is viciously trying to fight it. <laughs> um. Okay, so uh, when are we getting into this juicy political talk? We are going to start because I have incriminating photos um, oh. on here. Not incriminating. I have. Um, okay, Jeffrey. Epstein. That was the. Oh. <laughs> We did already mention Epstein. Um, I have some weird photos on here that would spoil this next part. So, I know that we haven't done drawing from memory since the second episode. But we're about to do it again. And here I have these wonderful papers. I will post a picture of them. Um, it should be on your screen right now. Let me get this pen. Ah, oh, the red pen. The red pen. Okay, we are going to draw current Democratic debate candidates by memory. Oh. And we're going to get two minutes to do it. I'm sorry. (laughs) So, we're going to have multiple rounds. And I've already decided who gets what. Okay, Because Jess is actually... Because everyone thought, you know, your drawing of Link was real cool and that Nestifer was underappreciated. Nestifer is underappreciated. He is. Free my man's the political prisoner known as Nestifer, who still suffers from traumatic brain injury. He started a GoFundMe because he can't get healthcare. Can I... I don't think I'm allowed to say on on a microphone that I am I can edit it out. Absolutely just trashed on ketamine right now. So I'm, I don't know how these I'm actually not gonna edit this out. <laughs> no wait, please. Your I'm honor. About, about fuck. Everyone knows about my ketamine addiction. Okay. So the first one we're gonna draw, right? We're gonna draw different ones. Is this just does this pen work? This pen doesn't work. You get a highlighter then because that's what you grabbed. That's you know what? No, I always carry a pen in my purse. Hold on. Get your get your stinking pen. Alright, let me go get a pun. Because I don't think anyone wants to see me draw a snake and or a rat. Yeah, that's right. Leave your leave your phone here so that we can uh <laughs> so that I can tell that you're not looking up pictures of presidential candidates. For the first round, this is gonna be the easy round. You're gonna get Elizabeth Warren. And I'm getting Pete Buttigieg. Okay. Okay? Are you ready? Mm-hmm. We have two minutes. And go. No, my pen doesn't work. <laughs> no. God damn it. Stop. Stop, Jesse. You gotta stop. Fuck, my pen doesn't work. Saboteur. No. no. You should have been you should have been better friends with the, the pen company. Whatever. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay. Elizabeth Warren and Pete Buttigieg. Hold on. And go. Okay. And that is time. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So. We're gonna get pictures one at a time. Um, Jesse, you can go first because I think yours is gonna look way better than mine. Um, <laughs> Not really. So I got a little rush towards the end. Here we have a picture of Elizabeth Warren, and oh my god! I chose um, <clears throat> I chose human teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, I uh, I was and, actually gonna point out the missing eyeball first. No, um, I don't know if you know this, but I started drawing a frog. And I forgot that frogs, frogs have eyes that go on. You know what? I haven't seen a snake in a long time. Interesting. I haven't actually turned on the news and seen a snake in a, in a little bit, so I um, I forgot which way their eyeballs faced. Okay. And um, I knew that the 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 lipstick and the um, the the blazer was that's very okay. Necessary. Yeah, it's I was gonna ask. It doesn't look good, but it's a blazer. I was gonna ask, is that like a collar that's around her neck or torso or legs? I can't tell if the it's snake. It's all the same thing. I would have shaded it in, but I didn't have time. Fair, 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 fair. Okay. And I really wanted to accentuate the human teeth. Okay. Well, that's because well, a, a smile is you know the best part of your day. <laughs> okay. So you're ready for my drawing of Pete Buttigieg? Yeah. As you know. His stonks are at an all-time high. Because it's the year of the rat. You're right. <laughs> is it really? Although China isn't having it too well right now. Again, this is a very dated episode, so with the coronavirus, you know, we all could be dead, but um, that just means that the rat stonks are down. Wow. They're not they're not going very well. So I drew um, a picture that is also a little bit dated. And I have here it is. It is the CIA. Um, as a puppeteer, and I forget what the kind of puppets are with all the strings. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, They have a specific name. Anyways, 
the CIA is controlling the rat, right? Pete Buttigieg, who is Ratatouille style, hiding inside of apparently Doug Dimidome's top hat, who is altering the, the results of the Iowa caucus. So I drew like a narrative here, right? And um, I also just want to point out that, um, I mean, do you remember when the Iowa caucus happened and Pete Buttigieg declared victory with 0% of reporting precincts and then he, uh, you know, his the people that were running his caucus stuff decided to tweet out their results, which included the login information to report the Iowa caucus results. Technology which was, is hard. It was being handled. Technology is hard. Am I right, boomers? <laughs> but it was being handled by a company that Pete ran. Oh, absolutely. No. They- Shadow. A company named Shadow. Like, it literally couldn't be more, like, <clears throat> comic book, right? Than just, like, the company named Shadow who works for the CIA plant of a candidate. Is fixing the election. Okay, so like the whole you thing. You could say that. And I. What? You could say that um, he's the first plant based candidate. No. Nope. Nope. We don't like. That's the only plant based thing we don't like here. We also don't like rats. We also do not like rats. And the whole point can was you, that he's rat fucking the election. Can you tell me. So that's, so that's what that is. It right? is a circumcised rat, yes. Okay. I drew a circumcised rat. Okay. Okay. So that's it for the first oh, one. Oh shit, oh shit. My 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 drawing of Elizabeth Warren. She's out of control. Uh, She's going after the rat. <laughs> snakes, snakes eat rats. Oh god. <laughs> Why has nobody made that joke? Oh, I definitely thought about tweeting that joke about five or six times, but then I remembered that I have uh I think fifteen followers on Twitter. <laughs> on oh, your shit posting Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. I think I I don't know, I think I have zero followers on my actual Twitter. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a uh You have to draw a political meme, right? So I'm going to say you have to draw a political meme associated with a specific candidate. Are you giving me a candidate? I'm giving you a candidate. Okay. I'm going to do Joe Biden. Okay. And you are going to do Amy Klobuchar. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put two minutes on the clock. Are you ready? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Draw a meme of... Amy Klobuchar, and I'm going to draw a meme of Joe Biden. Ready, set, go. And that is time. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you finish. Let you finish. <laughs> I, had to, I had to finish that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Jess. <laughs> this, this is so fucking good. Okay, would you like to explain your, your, your meme? I'm glad you could tell what it is. That's so <laughs> good. <laughs> but... <laughs> I also forgot what her hairstyle was, and I kind of had to it's, rush. It's kind of your haircut. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't you dare say that to me ever again. <laughs> it is the rudest thing I've heard all day. You got that. And I work in customer service. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> my, um... The only thing I'm taking away from your from your beautiful meme here is um, that it's clobbering time. It's time for the clobbering. <laughs> it is a, um... It is a, a wonderful <laughs> retelling of... What I think is a deranged Amy Klobuchar holding up a stapler saying, I am no longer asking. Not even the uh, the three ring binder, just straight to the stapler. Straight to the stapler. Stapler yeah. has projectile and has projectile options in multiple directions. So I redrew one of the memes I have in this PowerPoint that we'll see later, right? Just as a spoiler. And it's Joe Biden saying, you just posted malarkey. I respect the amount of wrinkles you gave him because it's true He's just hiding it under a lot of money. He literally, yeah. Okay, so in the Dem debate that was on Wednesday, he, like, made a face, and literally only his eyeballs moved. Like, there was no other movement in his entire face, and it was all just plastic shut. You've seen? Like, taped to the the back of his, like, binder clipped shut to the back of his head. You've seen all of those, like, you know, videos of the the AI that people have created, and they've, you know, the, the... the humans or the, the androids that, that look human and people always talk about how that's a very uncanny valley and there's, you know, even though they program emotions, it's not, it's not quite enough to take them out of that uncanny valley. Yeah. I think Joe Biden as a human has fallen into the uncanny valley and I think that's a, a very big feat. Oh man, speaking <laughs> of 
Democratic candidates that have kind of like fallen to the wayside, we're going to look into some of the memes, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you heard about Bloomberg, but one of the rumors going around was that he was going to pick um, no other than Hillary Clinton to be his uh, running mate. Um, I also love that Hillary said that nobody likes Bernie after, you know, he did all those campaign events for her. And I mean, by all means, did everything he could to get her elected after you know, he outed her as, like, a very disgusting person. Of course. Uh, well, kind of exposed her, not outed her. But, um, so I have a really good meme that I've acquired here. That is just, um, <laughs> I'm once again asking you to Pokemon Go to Hell. You know what? I'm down. <laughs> I think Pokemon Go to Hell is, uh, under. I'd get that on a shirt. Yeah, and I can't believe that the DNC back then, you know, fucked him over. You know, like, really hard. Back then? I mean, they're trying to fuck him over now, right? I mean, like, you saw the question with That's the, <laughs> do you believe that the candidate with the most, you know, delegates pledged there or are, that the, yeah. the person who has the plurality or who has the most votes should win? And literally every single other candidate said no. And then they get to Bernie. They literally say, Bernie, we're going to ask you this question last because I already know what your stance is. Because that's literally because the, you're that consistent. The other, oh, gosh. the other candidates know. <laughs> no, it's because the other candidates know the only way that they're going to be able to beat him is on some DNC rat fucking technicality. Of course. Um. So speaking of the DNC, I would like to present my fucking. next, my next meme, which is I'm once again asking the DNC to eat my ass like groceries. <laughs> Good. I'm. This one I feel is um is really powerful, and I resonate with it. Maybe it's cropped from the other ones, but like the official Bernie logo in the top right corner really adds a lot of emotion. Bernie actually gave me this meme. Wow. I, I tweeted out, you know, give me your best Bernie memes, and the, he tweeted this one at me. Is there so. no gen end to this man's generosity? Yeah. The answer is oh. no. <laughs> the answer is no. But um, I, I, I would like to say, though, and this is this is my criticism of, of Bernard Sanders, right? Wow, okay. Um. And that's that his idea of eating ass is pretty fucked up. I mean, look at this meme, really analyze it. See the, the you know, the official watermark. Yeah. You know, it's from him. It was from his personal account. He mm -hmm. DM'd it to him. He's, yeah. Because he knew that, like, you know, this wasn't going to gain him that much traction if he appeared on my podcast. And um, I just want to say that, like, yeah, it's, it's pretty fucked up once I asked him to explain it. Like, I heard that he, like, puts a towel down on the bed, right? So that he doesn't get crumbs everywhere or whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, that's probably why the younger generations love him, because... He just knows how to eat breakfast in bed. You just gotta respect that. We're gonna take a small break. <laughs> no, I did not think of that one when I was on ketamine. I thought of that one when I was crying at work. I love capitalism. You have several moments of <laughs> um, tweets and Snapchats that were sent out. <laughs> While you, were on while, while, well, that. And also while you were on ketamine. Those things don't overlap, I promise. I just, I just <laughs> want to point out that I was not voluntarily on ketamine. My, my surgeon said, we're not going to give you general anesthetic. We're going to give you ketamine. And then they gave me ketamine. Since when has this podcast been about context? I'm going to stop there, actually. I'm not even going to tell you what the surgery was for. It's all about, that's, that's what it's about. It's about the DNC eating my ass like groceries. Yep. Yep. So, um... <laughs> I keep looking at your picture. Of malarkey. <laughs> of malarkey. Yeah, we're, malar we're malarkey posting. I think I might get it tattooed on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one thing that I actually will say is good is that there is finally, and I mean finally, a candidate that pretty much represents my position on malarkey. That's Joseph Biden. <laughs> Was, was, was that how I can, to get out? I was, that, was that really hard to get out? Was, yeah, it was. It was. I, saw you, I saw you struggling. But I do agree with his position on malarkey. You should just stop it. <laughs> just stop I'm it once again asking you to stop I'm the once malarkey. again asking you to just stop with the malarkey. Speaking of um, more I'm asking you memes and uh, that guy, you know, like this podcast is not always about politics, right? Not like not this particular episode. Yeah, I mean, there have been politics scattered throughout the entire, you know, the other three episodes. <laughs> Almost like it's important. <laughs> all, all three seasons, <laughs> if you will, of the, of the podcast. But, um, you know, we always have to mention anime, right? Of course. And you won't believe what my next meme is. It's from an anime that I have a tattoo of. And no, it's not JoJo's, it's, it's not Jonathan Joestar's uh, wacky misadventures. Do you, I, for those of, for those out there that know about Ayan's tattoos, um, they know where the, they know where they're going with this. However, I have to inform you ahead of time 
that when I googled DMZ, uh, like, me, like, uh, sorry, Democratic uh, debate memes, Asuka was one of the first memes that came up. That's ridiculous. And I'm a little bit upset about it. That's really funny. This is the next meme. It's from Neon Genesis <clears throat> Evangelion. And uh, I'm once again asking you to get in the robot. Now, this is, um, if you guys are familiar with the show. He looks like Eggman. It's so good. It's he such looks a like, good. It's really good, it's but such it, a good it meme. makes Bernie Sanders look like Eggman. <laughs> it's such a good meme. However, if you guys are familiar with the show, you know that um, the main character's name is Evan. And this is his last name gellion and this is this is his father asking him to get into the giant robot i promise because he loves it's him. just a robot and it's just because he loves him and it was for his birthday and he's just gonna show his friends how cool the big robot is anyways on to the next meme um oh <laughs> okay so we're talking about fun fact did you know that this this image is mirrored it's pretty obvious once i tell you that but um it's a it's mirrored halfway down the middle what do you want me to say about this? I image? can never unsee what, that. What do you want me to say about this image? Um, so this is about Michael Bloomberg, obviously, or Trump. You know, it really does. It really there, doesn't matter. You know, I would. I think that the whole point of Jeffrey Epstein was that he had a lot of friends. <laughs> he did have a lot of and friends, and his dad loved him, so he got in the robot. Jeffrey Epstein is not Evan Gillian. <laughs> I almost said it. I almost said his actual name. <laughs> you, you almost got so mad. I almost broke it. I almost got so mad I broke Carrie. I broke you the broke bit. The bit. <laughs> I was about to break it. Okay, next meme. Um, like, <laughs> this is the meme I was talking about. This is the malarkey posting. I thought he was pointing a finger. I didn't realize he was holding a, what almost looks like a photoshopped microphone at this point. Um, but this is my favorite deep fried meme. This was actually um, submitted. I can't believe... I can't believe that deep frying a meme undoes all the plastic surgery on your face. Yeah, that's... I mean, he'd probably look worse. He's 77. Those pores are massive. It's deep fried, Jess. Probably I, each pixel is a pore. You're right, but like, wow. <laughs> now I am trying to find... So this was uh, the Low Gaming that actually uh, submitted this one. Because I asked people on Twitter to send me your best political memes of this cycle. And Low Gaming posted this one, which was the, the malarkey one, which I drew. So shout outs to, to Low Gaming for that one. Um, this is also one that Low sent. I just have to say, this is one of the most well-edited political memes I've seen. Most of them are like really low budget, really low effort. You know, like, I mean, I made the one that said, that was the very, that was uh, like the first one that said, I'm asking you again to listen to my podcast, which is going to be the thumbnail of this episode. Of course. Um, like, I made that one on Snapchat, right? And that's how, like, most people do them. This one's really, like, they, they took their time to edit Bernie out of that. And I just think this is, I don't really have anything else to say on this meme, besides the fact that I just think it was really well made. I should make some. You should. Move on to the next one. I think this is also one that Lowe submitted, which I find hilarious, which is... Uh, I'm asking you once again to open up this fucking pit. So, not only do I think this is hilarious, right? Why does... I love the earrings. Why does he look so good with gauges? <laughs> oh my god. Bernie, get gauges. Bernie would win over a really weird demographic. Oh my god. If he got gauges. Why did... No, like, that's the first time... That's... Bernie, you should get gauges. Bernie, I know you're watching this because you, you know, you personal... You personally messaged me. I tweeted at Bernie the other day. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I did tweet at Bernie asking uh, asking him to adopt me. Um, yep. You know, the, the papers are still... You, we're still go we're going through the process, but hopefully... <laughs> so, I can convince my new dad to get gauges. <laughs> so, when Lo submitted this meme, uh, he said, I, I got you, right, in response to, I need more memes like this. And then he said, in parentheses, I don't feel like cropping, sorry. And I said, well... It's gonna go in the video like this. Sorry, I don't make the rules. So here we are. It is uncropped. This is what you wanted, Lo. This is what you added to the podcast. This is the kind of content that you wanted. So here it is. Okay, next meme. Um, <laughs> so this one's just funny because it's about Meghan McCain, right? Mm -hmm. The whole like, <laughs> yeah, go cry about it some more. Yeah. And she was like, why are, why are Bernard brothers so mean? Don't call them that. <laughs> I, I don't like the phrase as Bernie Bros, um, but I, I, I think calling them Bernard Brothers, just like I calling us Bernard Brothers is pretty funny. Okay, I'll take it. It just flips it on its head. I know? just don't, I have to say, 
the word Bernard and the name Bernard always catches me off guard. Like I'm never, pre- my ears are never prepared to hear that name. Bernard off guard. Bernard. I need to go. I can't believe you didn't even recognize it when you said it. I need to go. <laughs> I'm just going to pack up. That's, that's going to be his segment, right? Instead of like fireside chats, right? It's just going to be Bernard off guard. If anybody got that reference, I'm very sorry. Um, I got an A in American history in seventh grade. I just want to let you guys know that if it's not obvious. Wow. We're going to move on. Humble brag. One. We're going to move on to the next one. Um, I peaked. Okay. It was then. Okay. Seventh and eighth grade. Peak. We had this discussion the other day. Yes. I don't think I, I don't, I don't I, think I ever peaked. Just, I cannot, like, as, you know, like, I, I obviously intend to spend the rest of my, you know, the time in this mortal coil. Um, <laughs> that I'm bound to. The, the flesh that I inhabit, right? I'm, I, I'm more than wanting to, 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 you know, spend the rest of that time with you. This better not be a proposal. No. <laughs> not at all. I just want to, like, let you know that it's only going to get worse from here, right? I peaked back then. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not downhill from here. That's the point of a peak. It's not even a plateau. I appreciate your honesty, but um, you just posted malarkey. I just posted malarkey <laughs> and I'm going downhill. Oh, man. She just said I posted malarkey. I was made on- I was made fun of online by a Bernie bro. This also goes with the uh, Megan McCain thing. This was a meme that OxyClean actually submitted, um, this? Joseph, that- I sent to them, <laughs> and then they sent back to me. This meme as a is meme to so put well made. It's, I love it. It's very good, and um, shout outs to Justin Wharton because this is pretty much his, you know, aesthetic. I I love it. I put it on a shirt. I think it's funny. Um, it's just well made, high quality, Mwah, high quality meme. It is. It is beautiful. Okay, so now on to some memes that I've. Uh, you know, because I made like I, I made the first one, and then I had some memes that people submitted via the Twitter response, and then I have some more memes that I've just you know procured throughout the times and today okay. even, mm-hmm. and then I have some more memes from one other that, person that meme grab from someone that you wouldn't expect. Oh, okay. that isn't Bernie Sanders because you would expect Bernie Sanders. Bernie is a man of memes. Yes. Um. So, next meme. We have I survived college without becoming a liberal. And then you turn... I just thought this was funny. Yeah. I do like it. Um, I think the very posh granite fireplace <laughs> in the background and and the lack of shoes Yeah, I just say, confuses me. I think this was definitely the malarkey posting of the episode because I did, in fact, include a feet pic. Yeah, like, they could have cropped that out. Yep. There, you could have avoided the feet pics. But they were explicitly included. Yep, they were included on purpose. How Anyways. much money do you think they got for those feet pics? Not enough, because I stole that meme. <laughs> so, <laughs> next one. Um, so this was actually, this is not a meme. This is, this is a real thing that was tweeted out today. So, the background on this, because I know you, you probably, Jess, you probably don't know about this until now. And if you listen back to this episode, you will know, right? Um, Trump just had a rally in Arizona. After having a rally in Colorado, where he's like minus 10 right now, right? Yeah. Um, he went to Arizona and gave this rally, and Bloomberg bought all of these billboard ads to put around Arizona where he was speaking, and they just say shit like this. I... This is a legitimate ad that he paid for. I'm trying to... I'm trying to place, like, the vibe that I'm getting from this. The, my first thought was, like, a Got Milk ad. Yeah. But that's not the case. I, I, it's, it's got a very particular vibe that I think could only be captured by, like, watching a bad infomercial on my grandmother's TV. <laughs> I just think that's... that's so, my, my thing, right, is how does this affect anything? Right. So the whole thing was that, like, you know, remember Trump said that Obama was the president who had played the most golf of all time. Right. Like that was like, what is golf? I don't. That was the thing, right, is that he wasn't dealing with, like, the problems of the country. He was just playing golf, which, like, first off, like, fucking whatever. Right. Second, um, I think that when you then the problem is, was that when you then turn around and double the amount of golf days that he had. (laughs) Right. And spend millions and millions of dollars in security to get you to there and back. And like while you're playing golf at your own country club or at somebody you know, whatever, because he's golfing. 
Mar-a-Lago, but that's that's the whole thing. What does this accomplish as a politician, right? It says Mike Bloomberg doesn't. First off, does Mike Bloomberg even play golf? Yes, because we actually have pictures of Trump and Bloomberg playing golf together. Anyways, not the point. Um, it just implies that he's going to go play golf when he's the president, right? Which we have established already over the, you know, the term of multiple presidents and especially, you know, the last three. That that's a problem. Like, that's not a good thing, right? That's something that you can be made fun of, right? For taking those days off. I have to tell you, with full respect, that you could tell me that golf had nothing to do with politics ever. Like, no politician yeah. had ever played golf. And I would still tell you that golf was a problem. <laughs> So as somebody who played college golf, I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> I actually wore I wore my uh, my rain jacket, my like windbreaker from uh, when I played collegiate golf. I wore that today. Uh huh. You know what I love about windbreakers? The noise they make when you walk in them. It's and not, the fabric just. It's not. It's not like that. It's a nice one. Oh okay. It was nice. It's a nice golf windbreaker. Look, my university paid for it, and the sports department had enough money at the time. <laughs> To throw that around. At the time. I say at the time because they immediately shut down the golf team the next year. <laughs> they just got us all you nice just stuff, that they, okay? Yeah, that's all they did is they just bought you some really nice jackets and then they... Oh, I also got really nice golf clubs from them, too, for, like, literally free. Do you remember the little puff balls that were the, the club covers? <laughs> yes. Sock they covers. Nice. Socks. That's what they were known as. They were, they were socks. Because, well, I mean, they were originally socks. Did you... Did people used to, like, stretch socks over... It's not really even that much of a stretching. <laughs> Golf is a mystery to me. Well, especially back then, like, when it was, like, actual socks, right? Like, you think about, like, how the... Were they used socks? Well, because you, you like, think about, like, a like a driver that you would use yeah. in golf, right? This big, big, gigantic head. It's got, like, the, the divot right behind the face to be, like, the trampoline, right? Stuff like that. They didn't have any of that shit, right? It was pretty much just, like, flat and made of... A, it was just a hunk of iron or wood, right? The reason why you have, like, the three wood and the five wood is because they were originally made out of fucking wood. So <laughs> that's why they're called that. So, like, the, I... the, the socks and stuff like that were supposed to fit over because they were... Pretty much shaped like feet. That's why they're like you have like the, you know they're they're pretty much shaped like legs. So the whole thing is that using a sock made sense, right? Well, I mean like now you would be stretching a sock if you put it over a driver, but that's that's not the point. There's so many sexual references. You have in, no idea. In you have no idea. All of in all of what you just said, just describing the logistics of golf, and now I know why Trump plays it. Damn. Okay. So. Fuck. I have some <laughs> other uh, Bloomberg. Memes. Okay. okay. I um, really don't want to see I still anymore. don't get what this is trying to accomplish. I right? don't. It's, it's, if they're, if they're of the same mentality, like if they're of the same They are ilk, the same candidate. I hate, no, not, not, not same candidate. Just if they're, if they're of the same vibe as this, I already hate all of them. I actually think Bloomberg is argu- arguably worse, but we're not going to go into that. Um, there's, there's an argument to be had there, but, uh. We'll move on to the next one, which this one obviously is not one that's posted out by Bloomberg. It just says Donald Trump was friends with Jeffrey Epstein. Mike Bloomberg was also friends with <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. So back to the Epstein memes. So this is, you know, the same picture, obviously, edited. And uh, we'll just move on to the next one, which is 64 women have filed 40 lawsuits against me for sexual harassment paid for by Mike Bloomberg. Is it really 64? It is really 64. Holy Did you shit. know that he has nearly $64 billion? I... You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a joke about that. That's that's fucking terrible. That's that's terrible. Yeah. Go to hell, Mike Bloomberg. I, I agree. Okay. <laughs> Go so, to hell. <laughs> so we want to completely disregard him, right? And what's like the quintessential millennial phrase for disregarding somebody that's a little bit older than you? I know where you go. Say it. Okay, boomer. This one was submitted by none other than PK Yo Yo, longtime uh, friend, and this is the meme. <laughs> So, this is something that uh, he sent to me via DM, and a Twitter DM. This wasn't on the thing, so everyone who submitted memes that was looking for them here found them. Except for PK, who gets us here. Um, real quick. First of all, it's actually pretty well made. I like that they included, you know, the dumbass E that they're all doing in their, in their, uh... Yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna get yeah. into that. But, um, also, it's why... Actually the, it's actually the Biden E, which is hilarious. Why... Is Bloomberg's left eye look like it would like look like it had the sharpening filter applied to it seven times in contrast with the rest of his face? <laughs> okay, so another thing I want to say is that I love okay, so like Trump's nicknames are really fucking dumb, right? Like none of them are good. You have like Lion Ted, Sleepy Joe, or a sweet Sleepy uh, Jeb, right? 
just him. Yeah, I think that was it, right? He had nick- his really dumb nicknames for everybody, right? He, I think he called Bernie like crazy or whatever. Like, cool, okay, whatever. Ooh. My favorite one is de- like Mini Mike. That is so good. <laughs> Mike Bloomberg is like five foot five, and that is fucking hilarious. Is he actually five foot five? Yes, he is the the world's richest man. <laughs> Does he stand on like a little stool when he goes to like? Is he in like the Dem debates? Just or if, is he just if like? If he paid you one billion dollars to be his stepping stool for the Dem debates, would you do it? No. You wouldn't? I wouldn't do That's that. That's a billion dollars. I don't think you understand. I would do that in a heartbeat. That's... I would be the guy that, that let Mike Bloomberg stand on him for a couple of hours and then made a billion dollars. I'd be set for the rest of my I life. I could only do it if I could then shit on Mike's shoes. No, I... For a billion dollars, he could call me names the entire time. I could go on Craigslist and have and have someone pay me to shit on their shoes right now, okay? I don't, <laughs> I don't think you understand Fuck. how much money Oh boy. I can make by not associating with like with my Bloomberg. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That reminds me of that uh because you know they're trying to get people of color to, you know, back up Mike Bloomberg because the <laughs> biggest well I mean the like think about it, right? It's like big oligarch or like She's still laughing at the malarkey picture that I drew. It's right in front of her. I think you need to take it away from me. I think I am going to take it away from you. Um, So they had that one guy that was like, uh, you know, offered, what was it? Um, $6,500 a month to be a campaign advisor and like endorser for Mike Bloomberg. And he said no. Yeah. I think he's running for Congress somewhere. He is sitting in Congress. Please, I'm going to find the name of this guy and put it on here. Go donate to his campaign. He deserves sixty five hundred dollars a month. He did that for us. Yeah, Just that. that was that was the ultimate homie move. The All biggest right? homie stock. Wow. So, um, another one about the Mike Bloomberg billboards. Just real quick, I'm gonna switch out to a better one, right? And so, um, we have the Mike Bloomberg billboards. I saw one that was really funny. That somebody like, oh, you should put this text up there, but hadn't made the meme. And that was actually um, our our friend Sammy, who mm-hmm. goes by uh, at Disco Damascus. Um, who said, like, oh, yeah, just a friendly banter between two friends. Hurt to dirt, you know, Trump hits, like, uh, like we're playing we're playing a fighting game and Trump hits buttons on Wake Up every single time. <laughs> it's like, god damn. Like, that's that's literally the equivalent of this, is Trump cheats at golf is just, like, Trump always hits buttons on Wake Up. That's fucking, that blew my mind. That was so fucking funny. So I just wanted to mention that. Also, I just also, I, I, I want to point out, how do we know that Mike Bloomberg also doesn't cheat at golf? Are you telling me that the guy who make who who has nearly sixty four billion dollars um doesn't cheat at golf? I don't think that you can have a billion of anything <laughs> and not have like and not stepped on people to get well, to yeah, that no, 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 for sure. But like he could just rewrite the rules of golf if he wanted to. Is someone gonna say no? I just don't. The other thing is, is that like height actually plays a really important factor into golf. Oh, does it? <laughs> well, like in terms of how far you can hit it. Like, there's a very steep. I'm not sure if there's a chart online or anything, but that's I just know that the, the people that, well, the people that can hit the ball the furthest and stuff like that, right? They're generally like they're generally just like taller, bigger people, because mm-hmm. um, they have more force behind them, or they get more compression into the ball, stuff like that. People who are, you know, the whole more thing is that, like, oh, if you're CBT boys. CBT. Gotta bring it. Gotta bring it right around. Compression and golf ball torture. Um. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. I, I couldn't let that one go. No, it's Continue. Fine. You were talking about height. It doesn't matter. That's and actually not CBT. My, my, my fun. I guess my unfun fact is that tall people are usually better at hitting the ball further, and shorter people are usually better at hitting the ball more accurately because they have to. Because if you can just if you play the, like the, with the same amount of accuracy as the taller people do, then you're worse than the taller people because you don't hit it as far, right? So that's, like, I'm saying this not from, like, experience because I'm just, like, average height, like, 5'9", um, but... Can't out yourself on the internet like that? <laughs> I'm a king. I'm a 5'9 king. That's the optimal height. Don't you ever, don't let anybody tell you anything different. The shorter the king, the taller the crown, unless you're Mike Bloomberg because no crown is tall enough to fit on a 5'5 five five king, unless your name is Lord Farquaad. Anyways. Lord that's just Far- what I want to talk about. Lord Farquaad gets eaten... By a dragon that fucks a donkey. I said that the other day. Political symbolism. Yeah. He got... He got there's a reason a... that the donkey fucks the dragon. He got... And there's no elephant in the movie. <laughs> he got vored. Don't. By a donkey fucking dragon. 
No comment. Okay. Well, let's move on to the last meme that PK sent us, and that is this one. I don't know who this quote is from, but I love it. I am all about giving crabs guns. It's time for crab. There are so many guns. <laughs> and only one crab. You know he carries that MF thing on him. How is he going to shoot all of them? Just in this picture, this crab has ten legs. You know what? He can carry ten guns. You're right. That crab's packing. Yep. I, I, I trust that crab. <laughs> Don't. I thought packing it was like packing heat, right? And then I, I immediately thought of like packing like the, the, the euphemism for like someone who's like dick a shark. <laughs> Yo, that no, crab's dick is out. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, that crab is packing schmeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... man. Okay, so, um, we're gonna go into the very last thing that I'm gonna say in this episode of the podcast. That is that I'm going to end it with a joke that I've stolen from Twitter and modified to be my own. Okay. Right? Um, so just for the ending. I'm just going to say that one time I offered Jess some noodles after having sex and she said, oh, so everything around here is done in a minute, huh? Thank you for watching. This has been the fourth episode of <laughs> Three Beans in a Podcast. We're probably going to rename it so that it's when it's two of us, it's two beans in a podcast. Let me know what you think. We're also going to set up an Instagram and a Twitter for this uh, specific podcast to see that even if you can't listen to it on YouTube or you want to listen to it on Spotify, which we're also going to set up, um, that you can always look at the pictures that we're referring to and the malarkey memes that we're posting. Tweet at us things that you want us, A, to talk about or memes that you want us to discuss. Yeah, this was a very interactive episode and it was extremely easy for us to make because I Thanks literally put together this. a PowerPoint of really shitty memes that you guys sent me. It was like four people. You know, again, shout outs to um, the Low Gaming, Spicy Tuna Fish, um, PK, and uh, Avocado for... Um, sharing all these with us and suggesting that we do this episode. I really appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next one.